What is goody gang? So today I'm going to be talking about the Genshin 4.3 banners and why I would not recommend pulling for Raiden Shogun in here. You guys already know to absolutely nuke that like button and to join our goofy discord server which is in the description. The server is very active and I am too so it's a great place to just vibe out and you get notified as soon as I upload. So I know I made a previous video about Raiden and how she is still pretty good in meta and how the banner has some great 4 as well that can complement her. However, I do think that regardless, there are a few reasons why you still should not pull on her 4.3 banner. Now keep in mind this is my opinion, and you should pull for who you want to since at the end of the day it is a game. So I will first go over some basic factors as to why not to pull Raiden. So for the first reason, I do not recommend pulling Raiden because of just how she is in general in this current state. While she is still viable in many teams and pretty diverse, there are just many great options at this point in those specific play styles that easily replace her. For example this user talks about how Raiden was great in previous meta because there were not many on-field DPS so she could have acted as one to fill in that gap. However, Dendro in the increased reaction meta and now we do not really have a major need for on-field DPS. In fact it is better to just have quick swap rotations in the current meta making on-field DPS not that necessary as of now. However, when there are needs for on-field damage, there are so many better alternatives at C0 now that it does not make sense to pull Raiden, assuming it's C0. For example, we have people like Nuvalet whose damage is comparable to that of C2 Raiden, and especially shines with multiple enemies or mobs, which is insane for an on-field DPS. We even have people like Nivea who are easily outperforming her at C0 and are relatively easy to build. By far you do not as much investment into pulls and building characters in newer meta characters like Nivea or Nuvalet than you do for her. Especially for F2P, the saved resources can be spent in upgrading or pulling other characters, which I see as a big win. Not to mention with Furina and Nahida in the meta as well, Raiden is just falling off in comparison to them, but this does not mean that she is bad. Raiden is still a very strong DPS that can deal a lot of damage, but there are some other great options that require less investment and are more in meta. Fiskal can replace Raiden in terms of off-field damage, Kuki can be a suitable replacement in Hyper Bloom, and the mentioned on-field DPS are better in today's meta. So now I will get into why her banner in 4.3 specifically is a reason to not pull for her in this current cycle. So as mentioned before, both Nahida and Furina are absolutely a major part of today's meta. Nahida basically enables all Dendro teams, while Furina basically supports numerous teams and fits into many of them. Nahida is said to rerun in 4.4, which is the banner right after this, and her phase could potentially be in the first phase. If you had to pick between Nahida and Raiden, the clear choice as of now would definitely be Nahida because of how strong she is for Dendro. Now if you do have Nahida, then it is also important to keep in mind that Furina is insanely likely to rerun in 4.6 since that's when they always rerun current Archons. If you do have both of them, then Raiden is not a bad choice, but based on the trends of the current Fontaine characters, they all seem to be insane damage dealers which I personally think gives a reason to prioritize them over Raiden. Especially if you missed people like Nuvalet, I highly recommend saving your pulls for getting him instead when he reruns because he outperforms basically every DPS. However, I do want to mention that if you do pull her, you would not regret it because she still does deal good damage, and especially with her current 4.3 banner that is Bennett, Sarah, and Chevreuse, you can potentially have a full team for overload, but we would have to wait and see how effective she is in that comp. So these are my thoughts in terms of pulling for Raiden, let me know if you are going to be pulling for her in the comments below.